What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is uh, Rogue Tuesday, and uh, last, not this following fan, fr not this fan Friday, but last fan Friday, uh, Xander Bennett. He actually left a suggestion of playing Kingdra, and he actually left a whole deck list. And I was like, "Holy cow! You know, what? let's let's try this out because he played it for a League Cup." And uh, I want to see, you know, is this deck actually good or not? There was there's been a, there was a lot of talk about Kingdra when it first came out. Like people thought it was really good. It's a stage one. It does like 90 damage. If for one energy, you do a ton of damage. It's kind of like your ninja, but not really. I don't I don't know. Uh, so today on Road Tuesday, we're testing out this Kingdra Artillery deck. So Kingdra. It's a card we've never seen before in the channel. It has 140 HP. Its attack is Brine. This attack does 90 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon that has any damage counters on it. So, you can snipe for 90 damage, which is really nice. Uh, but the real attack here is going to be kind of Tornado Shot. It does 90. You discard a Water G for this Pokemon. This attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. And that's what we're going to try to do today. We're going to try to Tornado Shot. Try to put 30 damage on the bench. And then use Brian to knock us later on as well. He has 140 HP. He's a 90 x attacker. And uh, you don't have any energies on you. So it's a... It's an interesting card to try to knock out. It hits Weakness on Volcanians, which is really nice. Uh, not for hoes, though. Uh, so... I don't know. We're going to see if Kingdra can work or not. Uh, it plays 4 Horsey with a Water Arrow. This attack does 10 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. So you could maybe partner that with the Brine attack uh, if you get that off. And then it does play 2 Horse or two Seedra sorry, with the Water Arrow. It does 30 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Uh, so 4-2-4 four, four line of that. 1 Vulpix to use that Beacon to search for 2 Pokemon. A 2-2 two, two Octillery to use that Abyssal Hand to draw to you have 5 cards in your hand. Uh, three Lele's, we're not going to miss the supporter card. And one Espeon EX. Espeon EX does have the Miraculous Shrine attack, which you de-evolve each of your opponent's highest stage evolution. So what you could theoretically do is do a ton of damage with a uh, Tornado Shot, set up knockouts everywhere, and then Espeon de-evolve. And there's a lot of evolution decks in this format, like, you know, Metagross, there's Guardi, uh, Kingdra, Vikavolt. There's a ton of different things that you can de-evolve. So it could fairly well go in your favor a greninja you could maybe greninja um yeah and of course mr mime for that and not of course but he does play bench barrier mr mime uh to prevent all damage done to your bench pokemon by attacks basically just top the coco that's the main one for sure so that's gonna be 20 pokemon and it is a lot but uh you kind of have to pay you I mean you're playing like a stage two and a stage one line so it's kind of why you play a lot I have a two field blower, um, you know, to get rid of tool cards, like field, uh, to get rid of fighting fear belts. Not really so much about Garboder, because, you know, your only real ability is Abyssal Hand, so it's not too factor of that. And four Puzzle of Time is what he included in his list. Uh, if you play two two of these at, at, at the same time, you can uh, get any two cards out of your discard pile. So you can get, like, another Rare Candy King Drush, something like that, which is really nice. Or just look at one and rearrange the top three cards of your deck. And then, of course, with the Octillery, you can hit some guaranteed cards, which is still really nice with the uh, Puzzle of Time. Full Rare Candy, trying to get that turn to Kingdra. And two Super Rod. you got to remember, with the Kingdra, um, when you use Tornado Shot, you discard your Water Energy. So we need a way to get these back, and that is with Super Rod. Uh, for Ultra Ball, of course, for Consistency. Two Bridget, try to get down multiple Horsies, turn one, and that's uh, Remoraid. Uh, three Guzmas. Uh, one thing you could do with this deck is maybe like Guzma around everything and then like set knockouts out with a tornado shot and then of course deal with the Espeon but Guzma is just a good card overall uh, three Mallow which is really nice with Octillery because you Mallow put two cards on top of your deck and then Abyssal Hand for those cards which is really nice it's a card we really haven't seen in evolution decks but I'm glad he, uh, that, uh, that Xander included it in his Kingdra deck uh, four in four Sycamore of course it's a staple it's, all, it's like 100% like almost on every decks now uh, one Flowstone, which is definitely the scary part of the deck, because with Kingdra, you have a one retreat cost, with, like, um, with Octillery, you have a two retreat cost, and nobody has really free retreat, so the one Flowstone is kind of scary, I kind of want a second one, but hey, we're playing his list today, and seven Water Energy, which might seem kind of low, but as long as you hit one, like, you don't really, like, your deck's not really based around, like, Guardi needs a ton of energy to attack, Tapabulu needs a ton of energy to attack, Volcano needs a ton of energy to attack, Greninja doesn't do well without a uh, bunch of energies to a, you know, giant water shuriken. So, this is one of the few decks that you can rely solely on, a slow, solely on just one energy attacker. Metagross needs three, um, so they need a lot of energies in the deck, but Kingdra does not. That's why we only play the seven, and that is going to be the Kingdra deck. It's very straightforward. You just, like, Tornado Shot, 90 and 30 to a bench. 
Brian kind of does make it a little bit complicated because you have to decide when to Brian and when to Tornado shot. But guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, hopefully I did Kingdra j justice today. That is a big thing. Did I do it justice or not? We're going to find out today. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button and let's see Kingdra in action. Alright, so we get sand below. Ooh, a Tapu Bulu deck. Ooh, this could be... I mean, it's... It's interesting, is what I could say, because with Tapu Bulu, uh, what ends up happening is they have to discard the energies to, I think, uh, if we're not weak to grass, like, I think we are not, <laughs> I could be wrong, uh, weak to grass, never mind, this is probably a terrible matchup, oh, and we start with the uh, Espeon, yeah, it's probably a terrible matchup, uh, because Bulu is just going to hit for weakness and not discard energies, and I don't know how we're going to deal with this, alright, but what, well, Look, we got this, guys. We've been in worse situations. So, we'll put a Water Genie active, play it in. No turn one Bridget, uh, which is very unfortunate. So, let's see. What do we find here? We find a Horsey in a Rim Raid. All right. So, uh, it's not too bad. So, put on a Horsey. Put on a Rim Raid. And we'll just pass on to our opponent's turn. All right. So, let's see. What can happen? Well, we can Lele for a second more, maybe? Uh, this Bulu will have to two-shot our Espeon, so that's at least something going for us, right? Unless he Guzmas and brings up a Horsey and knocks it out that way. Ugh. All right, so discards an Ultra Ball and a Grass Energy. Ooh, special. Ooh, okay, there's a Lele. Imagine we're going to see a Bridget here getting, like, multiple baby Vinga Volts and, like, a Coco and maybe a, a Rim Raid. Maybe, like, those three, like, Rim Raid, Coco, and then, like, Grubbin. Oh, an in. Yes, I am fine with this in play, actually. Okay, even better. Better. Good, 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 good. All right. Show me Rare Candy, Kingdra, and he has nothing. All right. There's a Horsey, a Guzma, a Field Bar, Puzzle Time. All right. So Ultra Ball just got the Lightning. Oh, and a... Oh, man. Our opponent, he is... He has all the good energies. All right. So there's a Grubin coming down. Grubin and Horn Attack for 30 damage. All right. So under our turn, what do we top deck? There's a Guzma. Not what we really want to see. So, put down Noctillery. We'll put down the Horsey. Uh, and I think we're... We could Guzma, right? But everybody gets knocked out. So, I don't know what this is going to do for us. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use our Puzzle Time right now and rearrange the top three cards of our deck. Ooh, this is not that good of cards. So, I'm going to put a Mallow on top, right? So, I'm going to put these cards after it. Okay, so I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to Bizzle Hand for one. Alright, he's going to Bizzle Hand for one. And I'm going to Mallow. Alright, yeah, we're going to Mallow. And it doesn't really matter what we do here. So what I'm going to do is grab... I kind of just want to grab like a... Like... <sighs> I don't even know. Um, we could grab Vulpix and an N, and that way we can like we'll top deck the vulpix and have an N uh to abyssal hand to into which is not that bad of an idea so yeah i'm gonna grab the i think that's what i'm gonna do here i think i'm gonna grab these two yeah so i'm gonna grab these two or not grab put on top of our deck we're just gonna press done right now unless you like rare candies here if you rare candies vinkable then we can like devolution it with Mrako shrine um yeah so grass is active there's sycamore all right oh unless he gets Ooh, unless he gets rare candy vehicle here. Okay, nope, just another horn attack. Good, good, good. All right, so we're still we're still alive here. So on our turn, we get the Vulpix. We'll put that down. We'll abyssal hand for the one. Okay. All right. And let's see. Oh, there's an end. Who would have thought it? All right, so we'll end here. Okay, let's see what we get. Come on, give me a Seedra at least. Okay, that's... Oh, there's a Kingdra, but no rare candy. We find a Bridget, not what we really want to see. So put a Floodstone on this, on the Octillery. We will retreat into the Vulpix. Uh, Mission Mime, not useful at all. So we're just going to Beacon right now. And with the Beacon, we're going to just grab Double Seedra here. All right, now if he has the energy. He'll be able to take a knockout here. What we're hoping for is he doesn't have, like, a Guzma, an energy, and a way to retreat. Because then he can knock out a Horsey. There is a, a Charger Bug come down, okay? There's a Lightning to the active. There is an end. Getting rid of both of our Seedras. Okay. All right, so let's see what do we find here. There's a rare candy and a, and a Kingdra. All right, and there's a Nature's Judgment. He will not have to discard the energies. Okay, good for him. Okay. So, well, Sin of Octillery does have that free treat right now. On to our turn, we get a rare candy. So, we can get double rare candy Kingdra. But we have to discard two Lele's. But I, 
It's whatever. It's whatever. We'll, gra we'll grab double rare candy Kingdra. Okay. So we'll rare candy Kingdra. Okay. Rare candy Kingdra. Alright, alright. So double rare candy Kingdra. There we go. And we will Bissell Hand for five new cards. We're looking for a water energy. Uh, okay, there's a... And it's not what I wanted. I mean, it is what I wanted, but not a hundred. I needed a... I need a horsey. So we're going to Ultra Ball discard one and two to grab a horsey. Okay. All right, because we need to make sure we keep streamlining these guys. So grab a horsey. Put down the horsey. We will Lele. I guess we could have, like, lele for... Uh, oh, Mallow's not in there. So never mind. Never mind. All right, so we'll grab the end instead. We're just going to end our opponent down to five. We'll get six. All right, so let's see what we get with this end. All right, there's Guzma, Super Odd. Uh, Super Odd really only gets, like, the Lele's back, which is not too big of a deal right now. So I'm just going to retreat into the Kingdra and just use the Tornado Shot 90. And uh, let's see, where do we put that 30 damage at? Uh, we could put the 30 damage on Charger Bug, which is not a bad play. But I think what I'm going to do is uh, put it on the Lele. Let's see, six. That doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, I put on the Charger Bug. Maybe we could have put a double here. Uh, no, no, we should have put it on. No, this still doesn't matter. Okay, there's a vehicle coming down. Okay, whatever. That's fine. So we see strong charge, going to some energy to play. All right, and now now it becomes a battle. It becomes a battle of can we streamline our Pokemon more than he can? All right, so we see some energy going to that guy. We see a top of wilderness going to heal him. Oh baby, I forgot about top of wilderness. All right, healing the ninety damage, great. All right, we'll send up Kingdra. On our turn, we'll put a water energy on the active. We will super rod. Shuffle back in. One, two, and three. Okay. And we kind of have to go for a second more here. We need to find another uh, uh, Cedra. Okay, so we find a Cedra. We can put that guy down. We can go for another uh, Tornado Shot 90. And uh, we'll do another 30 to the Vika Volt. Okay. And we go. Another 30 damage coming down. And, uh... Next turn, we can Kingdra, Water Energy, Knockout, hit this guy for another 30. And then the following turn, we can uh, De-Evolve him. Okay, so we see Strong Charge going to Energy on the bench. Alright, there we go, Energy there. Now, if he has a, a, a Guzma here, that, that's definitely what he wants to do here. Guzma up the Sea Draw. Alright, so there we go. That's actually a fantastic play. Nature's Judgment here for the Knockout doing 240. Alright, so we'll send up Octillery. It does have that free retreat. And on to our turn. Alright, so I think we'll put a Water G on our Kingdra. And just end our opponent. Alright, we should have another Horsey in the deck. And we do. Alright, so grab another Horsey. We have a Rare King to Kingdra for the following turn. Alright, so we'll put down the Horsey. We will retreat into the Kingdra. We will... Tornado shot for 90. Did another 30 damage to this vehicle. I mean, we might be able to just knock out the vehicle by just tornado shotting it. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. There we go. Alright, so on our opponent's turn. He will take a knockout here. Hmm. But how do we follow that up? Alright, so there's a Bridget. Okay. So he has 60 HP left. Hmm. What does a Bridget get him here? So Bridget not going to grab anything. He'll take another knockout, going out of two. But then all he has to do is knock out a, an Espeon or a Lele. And that is with a Guzma play. All right, so there we see 240. We don't have any more Leles in our deck. Okay, so he's going out of two. We'll send him Octillery. Hmm, all right, so on our turn. We do, oh, we top deck another Horsey. That's great. All right, so a Rare Candy into Kingdra. Oh, we'll put a Water G on our Kingdra. And we'll Bissel Hand for three. Alright, we are looking for an in here, and we don't have one. Uh-oh, this is scary. So I'm going to Ultra Ball. I discard Ultra Ball and a second more. If he has a Guzma, he'll be able to take out the game. Alright, so I'm going to grab uh, a Mr. Mime just to thin our deck out. Okay. We'll play a Sycamore. Alright. 
But there's a Kingdra. Oh, baby. But not any rare candies up right now. So we'll finally retreat. We'll take our first knockout here. And let's see what does this get us. So a tornado, tornado shot for 90, uh, 30. If he sends up anybody but the Bulu, he has the game in hand. We'll do another 30 to that Vega Vault. We can knock out that Vega Vault next turn as well. All right. So we'll take two prize cards. We find a puzzle time and a mallow which means we can get the rare candy off this turn here goes the bulu actually he does not send up somebody else did he misplay does he have the guzma he can still strong charge and bulu this turn oh man we're gonna see a strong where's he gonna put the energies gonna put on the grub in here all right so go put the energies on the grub in. there's a guzma oh he had the guzma no matter what Oh, no, he he must have top decked the Guzma, and that's why he promoted the Bulu. Uh, there's a choice ban, and he will have the game. No, he didn't even need the Bulu. He didn't even need the choice ban, but there we go. That was, that was actually really, really closer than I thought it was going to be, because that turn, what we're going to do is double puzzle for the end and rare candy. Rare candy Kingdra, take a double knockout, end up down a low hand size, and... Well, I don't know. We'll see. But the worst thing about that matchup is that he was able to constantly uh, keep on... Like keep the energies on his uh, his bulus by not discarding them and just hit us for weakness, which is very unfortunate. But we'll see another game. I mean, even then, we like hitting for weakness. We still almost managed to take the game. So we'll see another game with the deck here in a second. We'll see what happens. All right, guys. All right, guys. So the game number two we're playing is Champ. Oh, something looks like they're playing Guardy now. Guardy is kind of an interesting matchup in this matchup you kind of just want to go for the espion route like you know spread the damage around everywhere and then use espion de-evolve and just knock out all the guardies at once or not guardies at the time there would be routes and or curlius so can this strategy work or not we do have that turn one uh good old bridget coming down but our hand outside of that is not that fantastic so press done and uh, we do got the turn one bridget water on the rim raid so we can retreat it next turn and um well, let's see what happens. So they receive double routes for my opponent. So we'll turn one Bridget. Gonna grab three horsies. Uh, the Espeon's in there. We could go one Vulpix. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. We can Beacon next turn and start searching out Pokemon cards we need. So put a Water Gel on the Rim Raid and we are just gonna pass. I don't want to use, I don't want to retreat right now because if we retreat, he can use like Guzma, bring the Rumor back up to the X spot and get it stuck that way. So I really don't want to do that. I just want to, you know, retreat to Vulpix, put a Water G on it, maybe, and then go for that Beacon. Maybe put a Water G on a Bench Horsey, and then grabbing a Routes, and uh, not a Routes, sorry, grabbing a Kingdra and a Tapu Lele. So we see a Fairy going down to the Routes, and does my opponent have his own Bridget? Usually, Bridget is what you want to do turn one. You want to search for more Routes, you want to search for... I don't know, uh, maybe a Rim Raid, a Rangaroo, depending on which variant they are playing. Um, and yeah, it, it all is going to come down to this Espeon plays later on in the game. And they see and getting rid of our double rare candy to water energies. We are ready to go. We are going to use that beacon, be set up. Uh, but still, not a bad hand here at all. Um, we Okay, so we just see a pass from our opponent, which is great for us. So I'm just going to Ultra Ball. I'm going to discard the Ultra Ball and the Bridget. I am going to grab... I could grab Lele for Mallow. Guaranteeing a knockout this turn, which is really good. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab the Lele. I'm going to Lele. <clears throat> yes. Uh, and we're going to search for Mallow. We're going to use the Mallow and get set up here. So this is actually a really cool play with the Rim Raid. So grab the Mallow. Use the Mallow. Uh, we will grab, let's see, a <clears throat> Rare Candy and a Seedra. All right. So we'll put those two cards. We'll put a Water Gen, a Bench Horsey. We will retreat into the Horsey. Uh, put down the Octillery. And Abyssal Head for three new cards. Alrighty, so we will get that turn to knockout. Alright, and we get a, a Kingdra. We'll put that down. We'll Rare Candy into the... Uh, and we put down the Seedra, sorry. And Rare Candy into the Kingdra. And we are going to use that Tornado Shot. Doing 90 and 32. That Bench Route. It's already putting a ton of pressure on my opponent. Ticket to Knockout going out of five prize cards. Getting his end, which is really good. I don't want to discard this puzzle off time. So turn two. There we go. We are doing some some great work against this Gardevoir deck. Now, can Gardevoir knock us out? They need to do 140 damage, which is 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. They need five energies. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. The max they can get out this turn is 4. We do see a Gardevoir GX coming down. Going to Seeker Spring to the active. Okay. 
but you know, we, we got to feel confident here. We're, yeah, we're staying on a Guardi. That, that is 100% true. But we're going to be able to use that Tornado Shot, do 90, uh, 30 to a bench. And we are going to try to go that Espeon route that I was talking about here, guys. So we'll see a Lele. Use that Wonder Tag. Going to search for probably an in here, maybe. Uh, will he have three enhanced? Maybe he'll go for Bridget here. It's not a bad play either. Yeah, we do see the Bridget coming online, which is not bad at all. Be able to search for like two routes and a, a Noctiller. A Remarade is going to be very great. Uh, he's not going to be able to knock us out this turn. We just got to make sure we find an energy. This list only plays the seven, so sometimes we will struggle finding those. But we'll see. We do see a Bridget going to search for some Pokemon. And in the re and then like in the perfect world, we ooh, he, he grabs two Rim Raids and a route. So does that mean he prize two other routes? Uh, maybe. Uh, oh, no, prize one route. So we see 60 damage coming down. Owned our turn. What do we get? So we get a Float Zone. Some of Floats through the Octillery. I am going to Abyssal Hand, draw two cards, and do we hit a Water Gita Guzma? Uh, we do not. So we find a horse, you put that down, and we're going to play an in. Going to give us five new cards. Opponent will get six, and there's a Water G. That's good, at least. Uh, we are going to attack, and if he doesn't have Rare Candy routes, then we're looking good to go. So put that here. We'll go for the Tornado Shot. Uh, doing 90, and we're going to put 30 damage on this bench route. So it's getting ready to set it up. There we go, another 30 damage coming down. And right now, you kind of see how uh, we're looking good. If we do get this SP on play out, we can knock out the Gardevoir. Uh, unfortunately, we can't knock out the Gardevoir next turn no matter what. Um, which is kind of unfortunate, but we'll see. There's a Field Blower gearing the Floatstone off our bench Octillery. Kind of annoying, but I think we're going to be A-OK -okay here. We do have a Mallow. There's a Seeker Spring going to the active. He has to commit one to the active, or he'll not be able to attack this turn. But if he doesn't have a Rare Candy Gardevoir... Or Curlio, we're going to knock out that route on the bench, but we do see an Ultra Ball. Going to discard two cards from his hand, and he could risk it getting Octillery, or he can go straight for Curlio. And we do see him discard an Ace Cerola. All right, so Ace Cerola being discarded is very nice for us. He can't really heal that damage we are doing to his bench routes. There is an Octillery coming down, and we will see an Abyssal Hand. Nope, going to see it in first. Very interesting. You think he would go for an Abyssal Hand to draw four new cards? And there we see a puzzle, an Espeon, and an Ultra Ball. All right, so we're looking good. We could discard that Mr. Mine, really not needed. And there is the dreaded Rare Candy Gardevoir. But still, I think we're going to look okay here. Yeah, he's going to Seeker Spring. He's going to get a knockout this turn. That's fine, a dandy, and all that kind of good stuff. But uh, we're going to get rid of two of his Gardevoirs in the following turn. So we see, you know, Bissell Hand doing some more work. And we see a Rescue Stretcher. Going to put probably a Route in his hand. And yeah, that's what we're going to see there. Routes going to his hand, which now makes it somewhat a little bit more difficult. Uh, okay, so Infinite Force for the knockout, doing 90, and uh, going down to four, five prize cards. So we'll send up the uh, Kingdra. On our turn, like I said, we get Ultra Ball for the, uh, our guys. There is the Ultra Ball. We discard the Rim Raid and the Mr. Mime. Going to grab the good old Kingdra. We do have one more left, so we'll grab the Kingdra. <clears throat> we'll put that guy down. We'll put a Water G to the active. And we'll Bissell Hand for three. We're looking for a Seedra, of course. Maybe Rare Candy Kingdra if we get lucky. And we do have a Rare Candy. Okay, so we're, yeah, we're looking good now. So what we can do here is double puzzle. Okay. And what I'm going to grab is a Kingdra and a Horsey. Yep. All right, so we'll grab these two. <clears throat> I am going to Rare Candy into the Kingdra. <clears throat> put down the horse. That double puzzle play is very fantastic. So put down the Horsey. And we'll go for the Tornado Shot, doing 90 and 30 damage to this Bench Gardevoir. All right, so there we go. Uh, so I think what we're going to do is knock out the Gardevoir. And then, uh, man, if he has another Ace Roller, though, this would be very, very bad for us. Uh, but we'll see. Maybe we'll get a Guzma. That can be really cool. Like, Guzma, knock out this guy. Maybe knock out this guy. Go down to three prize cards. All right, so there we see a Curly hit the field. Uh, we can still knock it out if we do get that Guzma play. Right now, this Gardevoir is not taking a knockout. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. He needs two more energies, so a DC or a double Fairy Spring. Uh, there we see a Skyla. Uh, what does a Skyla get him? I wonder. It's... I'm not too concerned about the Skyla. What I'm more concerned about is that he evolved into a Curlia, making it a little bit harder for us to take a knockout or de-evolve with our Espeon. But you got to remember... He's only taking 90 X knockouts every time he attacks us, so that's really nice for us. Uh, we do have a Super Rod. We'll probably commit three Water Gs into our deck. We kind of really need those back in there. 
Um, yeah, probably need those three water since we only play the seven. Then we can Pistol Hand, uh, maybe find another Seedra. They were seeing Ultra Ball going into his hand. Is he going to grab an, another Octillery here? I wonder what he's going to decide to get with his Ultra Ball. He did use Skylab to grab an Ultra Ball, which is very interesting. So Ultra Ball, and go and discard two cards from his hand. Uh, discard is Enhanced Tamer and a Field Blower. My opponent's also playing all golden cards as well. Uh, they received Octillery. Okay, so he does have a double Octillery. All right. So we'll see uh, the Octillery coming down. And, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, we'll just have to see how this pans out. I think, uh, I think taking a knockout and doing 30 damage to the curly is what i want to do here i think that's 100 percent the correct play like taking a knockout putting damage on this bench guy is probably the better play um now if we get lucky like i said hit a guzma and a um and a water energy it becomes really weird actually if we hit a guzma here because we're gonna have well, okay, first of all he's gonna take a knockout here does he even get the knockout that's the real question right now he's only doing 90 like i said and no, just going to inventory force for 90. So this Kingdra is actually living. I was thinking he was going to knock us out this turn, but he doesn't even get the knockout. So I'm a super rod, put three waters back in our deck because we really, really need those right now. Uh, we're going to Bissell Hand for three. Can we find a Guzma plus a Water Energy? If we do, we're going to be looking really nice. And we find the Guzma but with the Water Energy. Man. All right, so I'm going to go for an in here. Oh, man, just barely miss it and we do find a water energy we find a mallow for next turn as well uh which is really nice we just guarantee that rare candy kingdra we'll put a what oh, almost misplay there uh put a water energy on the active and we will use that tornado shot taking a knockout I'm gonna put a 30 damage on this new bench curlia all right so there we go doing 30 to the bench uh, just get ready to try to set up going down a four price card oh going down a three price card sorry but we get it in and a in all right so in our opponent's turn um Probably gonna the Guard of War. Guard of War does not take a knockout right now. He needs two energies, so he has to commit one. But we do have the Kingdra. We have the option of just like hitting this guy for 90 to straight knock it out uh, with that Brine attack. I think, regardless, we want to hit the bench. Just try to take a knockout that way. Stay with the energy. Go into the active. He will take a knockout this turn. Uh, there's another fear to go to the active. Okay, so it's all of his energy attachments for the turn. He does have two abyssal hands to try to find another Gardevoir. There's a rescue stretcher. Gonna put another Ralph in his hand. Or oh, a Gardevoir in his hand. Alright, so you gotta think with double stretcher being used already, that he doesn't have any more stretchers. He might have another super rod. So see another Gardevoir coming down. And they receive his hand. Gonna draw some cards. Alright. Alrighty, so let's see what does our opponent do here. And it's really not that relevant um, to us. I don't think it is that very relevant to us uh, for sure. Um, and yeah, they receive an infinite force for the knockout doing 90. And going down to four prize cards. So Simba Kingdra, okay. On our turn, what do we find here? So we find a water energy. Hmm. Mallow is really not that good right now. Let's so put a water on the active. 3, 6, 9, 12. Um, let's see, because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, Mallow doesn't really help us. I'm just going to play in right here. Yes, that's fine. Uh, we're going to look at really look for is Espeon. Okay, there's three Sycamores coming to our hand. That's great. Uh, we'll Bissell Hand for two. Let's see. What do we get with the Abyssal Hand? We get a oh an Aspion. So we'll put down the Aspion. And we are going to brine. Uh, put 90 on this bench guard of warrior. And my opponent's now staring at this Espeon. Um, and the reason why I decided to do this, I mean, realistically, can he knock up this Espeon? Maybe. Maybe he could. Um, but if he does, we still have like this Kingdra that's just like doing a ton of damage to everybody. And he, he sees, like, the play now. He knows that we're about to de-evolve him. Like, he knows it's about to happen. Like, he's about to lose all of his Gardevoirs. They receive a Ralph and two Fairy Juice going to his hand. How many Rare Candies have we played? Just two, all right? So, see, Secret Spray go out to the active. Uh, three, six, three, six, nine, twelve. He's actually not taking a knock on Owner Kingdra just yet. He does commit a Fairy Juice to the bench Gardevoir. Uh, yeah, that's three, six, nine, twelve. He needs an energy to his active Guardy. But... 
he should be committing energies to this Lele. He sees the Espeon. He knows M Espeon's about to come out and use that Miraculous Shrine to take a double knockout. Maybe he doesn't know what Espeon EX does. You gotta be crazy to not know what that card does. It's very, very relevant in this meta right now. And we see a DC being attached to the active, actually. And we see a Bissell Hand. My opponent could have 3, 6, 9, 12, uh, 13. Um, okay, so see Secret Spring. Where he needs attached to this Lele. And he's going to commit to the Gardevoir. These are huge misplays here because we are about to double de-evolve both of these Gardevoirs. Take everybody off the field. And that is not looking good for my opponent. He does not realize his Espeon EX play. So we see a Lele coming down. What would this Lele get him? He could go for Guzma 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. That will knock out our Espeon if he goes that way. And that is what he's going to do here. He is going to go for the Guzma play to take a knockout on our Espeon EX. But I think I'm actually fine with this. All right, so Guzma, bring up the Espeon. And going to send in the Rim uh, Gardevoir, retreat to the Gardevoir, and take a knockout. Um, I think I think we're okay though. I think that's fine. So is he Infinite Force for the knockout, doing 180 damage? Yeah, he goes down to two price cards. I mean, actually, this could be very bad for us. He could easily just win the game now. Maybe dropping that SP on EX was too early. All right, so put a Water G on the horsey. Will Bissell Hand for one? We're looking for. And in um, something to disrupt him, but nope, gonna put a horsey down and gonna Sycamore to discard our hand, drawing seven of cards. Alright, so there's a Guzma that we can use maybe next turn. We got a Cedro, we'll put that down. And we are gonna go for a tornado shot, doing 90 and 30 to this bench. Guard of Vernon. Uh put on the Octit. No, I'll put on the Guard of War, I think. Alright, so there we go. I mean, this could be actually really bad news for us. Um this Guard of War is going to take a knockout, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. And then maybe he could power up this guy to win the game. Oh, no. All of a sudden, I thought we were going to win this, but it has turned to us. I mean, if we had, did not put if we did not put that Espeon, there was no way we're going to... Okay, there's an Ace Roller. Pick him that damage. Guard of War up. Oh, no. All right. So, gonna, who did he send up, though? Because we can hit the Espeon. We can hit the Guard of War for knockout this turn, 100%. That is not a problem here. Um, we're definitely going to end him. Here comes the Lele. He could put a DC on it and swing. Alright, there's a the Routes coming down. Okay. There's a DC going to the active. There's a Seeker Spring going to attach a Fairy to the bench Routes, maybe? Alright, I'll go put on the active. Okay, so he's just going to go all in with this Lele, actually. Alright, so see Energy Drive for 60. So on our turn, I am going to Ultra Ball discard the sycamore and the rare candy we'll grab the kingdra we only have one water in the deck as well oh no this could be very bad for us all right so grab the kingdra uh we'll put down the kingdra and actually what i think i'm going to do here is actually go for a guzma play to bring up his route take a knockout and put 30 damage on this gardevoir yeah that's what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna bring up the routes send up our kingdra and Abyssal Hand. Alright, this forces him to have another... Um, another Rare Candy Guardy, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the best shot we have. So I'm going to Tornado Shot for 90. Do 30 to this Gardevoir on the bench. Um, I actually put 30... I guess it really doesn't matter. On the Lele. Because um, no matter what, we're taking a knock on this Gardevoir GX. So there we go. Take a knockout. Going down to one, two price cards. There's a Super Rod. Super Rod can't put three Water G's back into our deck. Does he have a way to knock out a top of Lele? One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think so. That'd be pretty crazy if he does, though. But, I mean, anything's possible. All right. It is closer than what I thought. But, uh, luckily, we have that Water G on a bench, bench King Draw. Um, Lele cannot one-shot this Kingdra. It's going to be very hard for him to do that. And all I do is have to brine this Gardevoir GX for the game. Alright, so here comes the Lele. Um, 3, 6, 9, 12. He, okay. I think we're still okay here, guys. I think we're still okay. I was kind of nervous. Not going to lie to you. But, um... We are going to... Okay, so there's a DC going to the active. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And there's a Lele. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. What does... I mean, he could go for Guzma here. But Guzma doesn't really do anything because he already committed energies to the active. Unless he has a Floodstone in hand. There's a Guzma. All right. So who does he send up with the Guzma? Does he have a Floodstone in hand? Um, yeah. 
Let's see, we only played the one Flowstone, and our one Flowstone is already gone, too. So that's another bad thing that's happening to us. But you can see our opponent right now, he is thinking. He's like, man, if I Guzma, what do I send up here? Um, I think that's what he's, like, trying to figure out, is if he Guzmas. All right, here comes the Guzma. Gonna bring up our Kingdra. Ooh, not the Lele. He's not gonna try to two-shot our Lele. Instead, gonna bring up the Kingdra. There's a Seeker Spring going to the active. I think if I was my opponent, I would definitely try to go... For this Guzma play, because I think we can win now. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, six, five. Uh, that's a red candy. That doesn't matter. All right, so Cinder Kingdra. I think we got the game as long as we hit an energy. All right, so there is a field blower. It does not help us. So a super rod to shuffle back in three waters. So let's see if we puzzle. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So a puzzle. Uh doesn't really matter. Oh baby, there's a water and two Lele's. Okay. But now what we can do is Mallow. Uh Mallow will put one card atop our deck, and then we can best hand for that one card, and that will win us the game. So put the two water dudes on top. We will Bissel Hand for two. And get that tor uh, get that Brian and knock out this guard of our GX. I was definitely kind of nervous. Uh but, uh, yeah, there we go. We didn't even use SP on GX. We just manly took down three Gardevoir GXs. And there we go. There's Kingdra uh, taking the game against a Gardevoir GX deck. Probably one of the best, if not the best deck in the format right now. Uh, but, guys, there we go. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. That was a pretty uh, good match there. Game one was definitely kind of rough, but we still almost won. Almost beating that Tapu Bula deck. But, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hit that subscribe button. And let me know if you joined the Kingdra deck or not. Alrighty. Bye. All right, guys. I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, Six Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.